you're anointed and you're back. You're like Lee in the Fantasy League team, you're anointed. <laughs> I mean, QC said, This is a man who's actually had to pay me only the odd dollar or two down the year, but. Yeah, clearly go on breath when it comes to me. <laughs> um, QC is at the peak of his form and goes, Boggy Dog, back in. Anointed. No, that, talent, I call it talent. Yeah. That's like Santa Gazola had scored a hat trick. That is. It is, yeah. Exactly. Who's <laughs> less honest? <clears throat> must recognise talent in other people. <coughs> Players have walked up the par 5 third. First up for the third shot, Torquio and Bullis. Speed through the shot there. The only 7 out of 10. It was a very straightforward shot. It was a bit, a bit more sound to go over than the gather. This is par, but it was sort of second or fourth. That's important. He does blow hot and poke cold with his butter. Sometimes he holds nothing, and then others hold one or two early on. He can hold an awful lot, so never surprised if he's leading on holding at the end of the day. Good saying. Now, see him. The sixth note, lovely par four this one. Don't play from left to right. Short holes, Gallagher, and should achieve a lovely long putt. But then you'd expect that he's only had 50 putts in, except for 36 holes. Disappointing after the tee shot, uh, Wallace, and but he drove it so far, it was almost on the downslope. Set above, you know, not a good combination. Still need to remember, pushed his second shot over to the desert there, got down in two, so he's balanced the looks after the drop shot in the first. Still goes to minus 12. Robertson stays there. Shot today at 17 for Westwood, but he doesn't like the second. It's not that bad. Not quite what he had in mind. It's horrible. Yeah, I think his long game is fantastic at the moment. I've sort of a couple of holes up to the second of the ninth stone, then, which is a hard par four, and that's how he's made his uh, score today. A fair sleep held by Norrin and very tightly packed, as it's going to be all the way through this afternoon. Two shots separating, separating the top seven players. See what a birdie birdie finish would do for Westwood getting right into the mix. Steve Webster continues his fine start to the year. Four under for the day. It doesn't really play that because you've got an elevated team which is situated up the hill by the Magellus, which gives this course its name. But there's the danger. Anything right of a bit could well be water bound. With the honour, Sterney after the birdie of the third.
screen, that's the seventh, the other short hole here, the two short holes on either side play alongside one another. Still a big swing from right to left on that putt. To 17. Uh, the second westward for the three. Second shot wasn't all that bad, was it? <laughs> second shot is for top. <laughs> of course a par five with which to finish. A lot will depend of course on how the leaders carry on at the moment he's still two behind the leaders but he's got a whole round to play. He should have spent yesterday at 17. That's it for the birdie at six. From the left this one. He's from a driving range so he's still, his shoulder is still hurting this morning no better than it was yesterday and carry on. He's anxious really not to do it any more damage by playing and if it didn't deteriorate he might pull out even with his morning top. That old dog. The model of consistency over the last two days, Chris. Neat and tidy play on old fashioned side. Left on the side, Maximilian Keep. Generation coming up, Wattel, Ullison, Tommy Fleetwood. They've all got confidence that so many new young European players have got because they're on a stool that uh, amongst players who are winning all the big ones. Two big shots from Rocket 18. Oh, it's better than that.